What's going on guys? Drew's my CA. Alright, so today we're gonna be taking a look at the new MotoGP 21 update perch. So to test this, I went into a line gameplay. Uh, I just wanted to see because you know when they release this, these patches, the best way to test uh, the fixes they prove they I mean they claim they made is online multiplayer game mode. Just to see how the bike is behaving because you're racing on other guys and also uh, you know, you're just gonna feel it much better straight away. So I went into on online multiplayer game mode, and straight away I can really see that the the uh, you know Tony of the bike has been a little bit messed up. The same story like MotoGP 20 from last year. You know, after some people, I mean, after a lot of people are complaining about the front end of the bike, and also uh, the bike being too quick. Uh, I mean, the gameplay being too too quick. Excuse me. So they made some patches to the game and it really kind of ruined the front end you know for me personally i, I started struggling a lot because there was no feel uh for the front end of the bike and with moto gp21 the patches they made recently actually you have a bit more feel but the problem is it's like they built in a um like a invisible understeering kind of mechanism that the bike just doesn't want to turn it doesn't want to react to the input especially if you're on the high speed and um so that makes it a big kind of a bummer for me and it's, it's, it's a bit rubbish i don't always get how milestone kind of you know every year they uh they always manage to kind of you know ruin the game a little bit if, if i'm you know with all due respect because i mean i'm a huge fan of, of their games and uh you know it's what, what i've been doing since i've started my channel but um, you know, with recent year patches on updates, you know, I think from 2019 up to now, it just has been kind of ruining the game furthermore, and it's not really making it better. So with these patches as well, you know, they, they might have fixed some bugs and, 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 and issues in the game and AI and all that kind of stuff, but the whole main thing that a lot of people are struggling about, is for, you know, the first thing is the breaking, second thing is the, is the physics of the game, and now the built-in kind of a you know an invisible on the steering mechanism that you know the, the bike isn't just turning you know it won't it won't it won't it's like you know the, it's like they put a whole lot more weight on the front of, of, of the bike which really uh, compromises your exit i mean uh, your entry so um you will need to kind of retune or re rethink your setup in order to compensate for uh for the new balance uh, in, in, the, in the game so which will be annoying to a lot of people to me as well because i don't really like it because i i i mean i was riding yesterday i mean i mean for the first couple of weeks i was doing i was constantly crashing before i kind of you know uh we adjust my breaking point we adjust some kind of setting in the preload setting and also uh you know putting the weight a bit to the rear wall so i could just have a bit uh, the front end to be a bit lighter so that i can get a better entry the roadmap is still long guys and i think mousing will be addressing it hopefully they will the advantage of the new patch to the to, i mean to the front uh, to, to the physics of the game is that you have a bit more feel you know uh, when you are breaking very late and deep into the corner you have just that a bit more confident to uh, to step on the brake and and just utilize the front brake more and you know rely less on the rear brake because i use a lot of, lot of uh, trail braking to uh, uh, to manipulate the, the weight transfer of, of the bike in order to get in front and to turning so uh, that's positive positive to be honest because you have a bit more front feel but it's not that much because when you when you uh, when you get over that limit the bike just snap once you don't, you don't really get any warning um it, it just it just it just you just crash straight straight away so you know previously you get a bit of a vibration a bit of a warning that you're on the limit or you, you're about to get over the limit then you're able, you're able to correct it and react to it but with this one uh with this patch guys i just kind of you know when i'm on the limit it doesn't really i don't really get any warning just like bam snap and that's it you crashed so yeah it's been a bit of a disappointing but uh the roadmap is still long like, like i said and i think we should be expecting some you know rectifying and patches to uh, to give us a game where a lot of people can have you know a bit more fun with and uh, and a game physics that will be more friendly to a lot of people so this has been it for this video i just wanted to uh, get this video out i don't want to make it too long so this has been the list of what the patches in the game if you're new to the channel consider subscribing hit that like button as well and also comment on your way out i really appreciate your help i will see you in the next video guys stay safe out there peace